All right, y'all. So, man, a lot of people are saying that what happened in Brazil just a couple weeks ago is literally the most blasphemous thing that they have ever seen in their entire life. And just to remind y'all, this is not new. Brazil, they have this carnival every single year. And it's not just Brazil. There's a lot of other places throughout the world that celebrate in a similar fashion every single year. But Brazil, they just happen to be the biggest one. So that's why they get the most attention because they do it the biggest. And some of y'all might have forgot, but you know, what happened in 2020, it po- it it postponed the 2021 carnival that was supposed to happen. It also postponed the 2022 carnival that was supposed to happen. So this is the first carnival since, you know, 2 plus years to take place in Brazil. And it was a very, very big deal. I mean, y'all don't understand how massive an event like this is. CNN said that this carnival generated nearly $1 billion for the economy of Brazil. $1 billion from a, from a, from a five-day carnival. That's a massive, massive event. But you know what's even more interesting? And a lot of people are not talking about this. At least I haven't seen too many people talk about this is the reason why they actually do this carnival in the first place, because the reason why they do this carnival in the first place, it might actually surprise you. It might actually surprise you. So this is according to uh, study.com. Listen, I don't know. It's, it's all Google, right? So take it with a grain of salt. But when I was doing research, trying to figure out more about why this carnival happens, there was one reoccurring theme that I kept coming across. Uh, coming across, there was there was one reoccurring piece of information that just kept being listed, and I want to read it to you. It says, "Carnival as we know it, however, is a Catholic holiday. The forty days prior to Easter Sunday, the most important day of the Christian calendar, compose a period called Lent." Lent is traditionally observed by fasting, prayer, um, and voluntarily abandonment of earthly pleasures and spiritual preparation for Easter. Formal, formal Catholics do not eat meat on Fridays in this period as well. So right before Lent begins, European Catholics begin hosting massive parties. One last shebang before fasting and meditating for 40 days, not including Sundays, which, is our, which are already set aside for religious observation. Just as with the ancient Romans and Greeks, many social rules were abandoned in these parties. It also goes on to say that carnival in Brazil, the pre-Lent party, they're, they're calling this a pre-Lent party. So for those of you who do not understand, Lent is a religious period of time observed by Catholics. And this is the 40 days up until Easter. So during this 40-day time period up until Easter, Catholics participate in Lent, which means they fast, they get rid of you know certain, certain earthly desires or certain earthly um, sins that they indulge in. It might be drinking, it might be um, you know, I don't know, eating candy, eating, eating chocolate, pretty much whatever. And I'm not Catholic, so I'm sure a Catholic could probably explain this a little bit more eloquently, but this is just my interpretation of what Lent is. It's a time for Catholics to repent. It's a time for them to fast. It's a time for them to practice obedience and discipline, just as Jesus displayed obedience, discipline, perseverance when he was tempted for 40 days. Carnival in Brazil, it's being called a pre-Lent party. And I've, like I said, I've seen this same type of information being shared across multiple sources. But it's being called a pre-Lent party. And it was an important ritual for Catholic societies. And this is a time where they celebrated with food, with music, and basically just had a huge party before they went into their 40 days of, of discipline and 40 days of, 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 of fasting. Um, so it's very, very interesting. 
the whole origin behind what they're doing here is in preparation for a very holy time period that is observed by, I think, all Catholics, right? All Catholics participate in Lent, or maybe it's just like the traditional Catholics. I don't know. You you guys let me know if you're Catholic, if you participate in Lent or not. But this whole celebration is supposed to be a big party before they go through this 40 days of testing. And now, as you can see on the screen right here, as of right now, and I, I think today is, is March 7th, right? So as of March 7th, Brazil is currently going through some extremely devastating flooding. And, and a lot of people, thousands of people are losing their life. I see a lot of people in the comment section. A lot of Christians are saying, see, this is what happens when you play with God. This is what happens when you are being blasphemous and openly mocking Jesus, this is what happens. And I, I honestly, I understand that people are upset. I understand that people, I understand that people, they don't like when God is mocked and they don't like when God is attacked. And I understand that. That makes me upset too. But we have to understand something. The Bible says that Jesus is not slow in his return. He's patient. A lot of people say, oh, well, how come Jesus hasn't came back yet? You know, what's he waiting on? Like, there's so much wickedness going on in this world. How come he's not back yet? Well, the Bible says he's not slow, but he's patient for our sake. Because he doesn't want anyone to perish. But he wants everybody to repent and have eternal life. We have to really adopt that same heart posture for other people. The Bible tells us to love our enemies. The Bible tells us to love our enemies. Now, obviously, seeing stuff like this makes me upset. Seeing the, 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 the way that they're acting the demonic outfits, they're literally burning a cross. There's children in the front row and they're doing all of this stuff with literal, there's, there's children in the front row, y'all. Seeing this makes me extremely upset. But the Bible tells us to love our enemies. I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is okay, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that I want these people to die because of it. I want them to repent. I want them to turn away from their evilness, from their wickedness. And I want them to know God. I want them to put their faith in, in Jesus so that they can have eternal life. A lot of y'all are saying like, yo, this is what they get. This is what they get. Because of what happened, this is what they get. And this is God pouring out his, his wrath. But a, a lot of y'all are just coming from a place of 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 hate, of pain, of unloving. It's not easy to love the people that we see to be as our enemies. But the Bible commands us to love these people in spite of how we feel. If the Bible says that he's, he's, he's not slow, but he's patient because he wants everybody to repent and he wants everybody to have eternal life, then we have to take that same heart as well, especially for people who make us upset. Especially. Now, um, there was another part of this video. So there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of there's things that I can't show you. There's things that I can't show you. Um, this performance in particular, and these are all supposed to be performances quote unquote all of these performances quote unquote are supposed to be judged there's a there's a group of judges and they hand out prizes for the best performance this performance in particular where they had this actor dress up as Jesus this uh, particular performance um, if you watch the full video and I, I can't show it to you because um, I, I tried already and and they took it off but if you watch the full video, it's on YouTube. Um, you can see 
they dragged this man who was playing Jesus across the concrete for like three feet. Um, you know, they're beating him, they're spitting on him, they're they're whipping him, all this type of stuff. And I I understand it's a performance. And the whole time, you know, this person that who they have as the devil who's in this red suit is, is just walking around like with his chest just 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 puffed up, just walking around like like he like he's running stuff, you know. And then there's a certain part at the end and you're not going to find it in this TikTok video. But if you search it on YouTube, there's a certain part towards the end of this performance where it, it looks like angels. It's all these people in these white suits. Let me see if I can show you one. Um, there's one in the background if you kind of look closely. Uh, oh, there's one right there. There's one right here. You can't really see them. But there's all there there's these people in the white in the white suits. I think those are supposed to be angels. Because what happens is they kill Jesus, they crucify him. And then all the white angels come and they lift up Jesus and it's like seemingly they resurrect him. And then Jesus gets up and he's walking around and the people who are who were there. And this is just from me reading the comments. The people who were there were saying that this performance was actually to glorify Jesus, not to mock him, but quite the opposite, to bring glory to Jesus. Which I don't buy, um, no matter how you slice it. There's other ways that you can glorify Jesus without going to this extent. And I know a lot of people, you know, who support this type of behavior, specifically in Brazil, they'll say that this is just carnival. This is just what we do. This is, this is, we are honoring Jesus. This is how we honor him. Well, that ain't it. Because literally, you know, right after or right before you had this performance that was quote unquote glorifying him, you have this giant float of 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 Satan that comes out. Now, what is what 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 is the purpose behind this? What is the reason that you would have this giant massive float of Satan? Is this also to glorify God? It just doesn't make a lot of sense, especially when you go through all the videos and you just see all the dark and demonic stuff. And you see the children sitting, sitting in the front row and you see them burning crosses and you see them doing all this kind of stuff. Y'all sure, y'all <laughs> sure have a funny way of glorifying Jesus. Y'all sure have a funny way of doing it. And like I said, just because. Seeing stuff like this makes me upset just because I don't like it. That doesn't mean that I wish that these people would be harmed physically. That doesn't mean that I wish that these people would die. And I see so many Christians in the comments of these videos of the flooding happening in Brazil. And they're preying on these people's downfall. If you're going to pray, pray that they come to repentance, pray that they come to know Jesus Pray that their soul is saved. Don't pray on their downfall. I'm pretty sure God would not want us to be praying for people's downfall, but he would be wanting us to pray for them to get to know him so that they could experience salvation, just as the Bible says. So, like I said, um, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about everything that's going on in Brazil or that happened in Brazil. Um, get in my comments, subscribe if you have not already. I'm out.